Okay, our idea is a mobile application that acts as interface between the patient and the doctor for the, the patient and people who live far away from doctors and show like they are illness. So the application starts to memorize their, uh, their speech and extract from it the symptoms. Then it starts to use a database to identify them. After that, the application will try to identify the problem. But if, if the application couldn't do that, then, then it will try to find the, the so near doctor. Then it will ask him to diagnostic this uh, patient. So when, uh, when he finish, if he could not uh, give him the right answer, a map for this doctor or the nearest doctor for him will be shown on the screen so the patient can, can know how to have a medicine. medicine. So you'll take information and then you'll try to diagnose a patient online and then contact doctors and show patients where the doctors are if the website can't diagnose it? The patient and the application, which, uh, which make like uh, user experience that the user is already dealing with a real doctor. So, so it's like an AI application. Are you working on the algorithm right now? Yeah, I'm working now on the algorithm in the smoking room because uh, I smoke a lot when I am working. So I have built uh, the poly algorithm and I have just a few things to develop. And did you come here with this idea or did you develop it here? I have came with the idea as as a, as an idea or as an example in my mind, and uh, we have established the team uh, and we grow. Who's on your team? Can you briefly describe? My team is Abdurrahman Saifi, who is uh, a, a technical developer and uh, and business uh, developer from from technical side. We have uh, Mr. Hussam. He is a he is a developer with me. He is working on, uh, on C Sharp and developed half of application as a code. And we have that at Al Jawari. She is uh, our mainly business uh, team. She uh, she have to work on business and presentation and relation and these stuff. We have that. We have Amar Al Jawari and Leitel Afghani. Those are our designers. They are working on the project Igornamit feeling and uh, this stuff. And I am the developer. I'm working on the mainly algorithm and the AI in the application. Right. And, um, and how do you start to develop the application so that people don't get the wrong information? Yeah. We have built it on, on three phases or on four phases. First, the application start asking uh, the patient try to match the symptoms with the diseases. If the application couldn't be sure occurring, it will go and ask the online portals for medical information like web.md. Then after that, if, uh, if the application is still not sure, it will contact them to a real doctor. How, how are you getting information to create the diagnosis? Are you looking at the database? Yeah, we are, we are working on the database. We are using uh, an algorithm called expert system, which uh, based on... Uh, on, we can say on conquering the 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 idea or, or uh, the symptoms in in a specific problem. Then after that, we can get the, the real knowledge. And do you plan to make it in Arabic? Yeah, we have uh, in our phase two or three. We have a plan to make it in Arabic after we finish the English, French, and Spanish. So we have get the. Uh, some resources to help us build the Arabic version because our Arabic version have uh, some trouble with Arabic recognition because it's not only based on chat, it's based on chat and speech. I see. And how do you plan to get doctors to stay involved? Yeah. Our doctors come from two parts. First, the doctor will get pay per dealing with us. Second, we are targeting fresh graduated doctors who, who, who have a high passion to prove themselves and to get uh, to get high rate and they are believing in technology and medicine 
How do you plan to do quality control? What? How do you plan to control the quality? Yeah, the quality. I am planning uh, to control the quality from three phases. First phase from user uh, feedbacks. So the application will ask the user to raise the doctor, to raise our service in connecting with doctors. This is the first. The second from number of users that are using the application and talking about it. And uh, directly uh, assistance from people with our uh, assurance department that will be built on our uh, uh, continuous uh, progress in uh, development this stuff. And how, finally, how do you guys plan to make money? What's your business model? Our, our business model, we will start uh, by, by making uh, some contracts with hospital and doctor and we will share uh, like a premium model. Some, uh, the application will be built uh, a basic version and uh, a premium version. We will get paid from the premium version and we will build a, a high user database and we will try to find some investment. Is it a web application or a mobile app? For this target, it's a mobile application and it's a tablet application. We are working on the last technology, Android and uh, Windows 8. And in our uh, business plan, phase one and phase two, we will finish the Android, the iOS version. Um, great, and how has Startup Weekend Amman been treating you guys? Yeah, it's very nice. It's, uh, have very potential to work and, uh, and nice team we yeah. have. We have worked before together, but uh, we are very potential to the idea and uh, to know the people. Great. Well, thanks for chatting with WAMDA. This is Nina Curley reporting for WAMDA at Startup Week in Amman, um, discussing Dr. Bot. Thank you. Thank you, and thanks for WAMDA.